that you are in trouble with your bank. In the United States, there's a long-standing tradition of citizens wanting to limit the power of their government. Some seek to challenge the mighty dollar by buying bitcoins, a digital currency backed by no individual nation-state. But now there's increasing focus on whether members of the African diaspora could use bitcoins to help send money back to family members. In order to use bitcoin as a bridge between US dollars and Kenyan shillings, you need access to the internet, you need to be able to buy bitcoins in the first place, and then you need your recipient to have a mobile money account. To operate in the United States, a money exchange using bitcoins needs to follow fairly stringent rules to avoid violating money laundering or terrorist financing regulations. But given that these services are online, an individual could choose to use a company operating outside the US, raising security questions for the authorities here. Development experts say these concerns could be addressed by employing the technology in the Bitcoin system to create more transparent exchanges in future. Where there's more potential is the underlying technology that makes Bitcoin work, this blockchain technology, which allows for a public, secure, distributed ledger of transactions on the network. That kind of technology has some interesting applications to radically improve cross-border transactions in general, to radically improve the, the global financial system. The authorities here are still in the process of working out how to incorporate these so-called cryptocurrencies into the system. This increased regulatory focus is in response to the rapid take-up of these technologies, which have the potential to dramatically reduce transaction costs for many in the African diaspora in the future. Daniel Renches, CCTV, Washington.